Check this out. This is a beautiful box of mushrooms that my cousin Cindy and her husband Larry brought to uh, share with me on their trip to our area last week. And it's loaded with um, some nice portobellos, some white mushrooms, some baby bellas, some shiitake, and tonight we're going to use this, the oyster mushrooms. This is something I rarely buy, but it's going to be delicious. We're going to make a stir fry using beef with it, and I'll show you how to do it. First, I'm going to wash these. Okay, these are these are uh, really nice and firm. I'm just going to separate them a little bit with a knife, so they're nice bite-sized pieces when we put them in the frying pan. Then I'm going to heat up some oil and drop them in and get rid of some of the core here because the flavorful part is really the little fan. That's what we really want to put in the food that we're making. Okay, I'm going to cut these apart and then we'll stir fry. Okay, these are all washed and separated. They're beautiful oyster mushrooms. These are going to be delicious in this meal. Look how Look how nice they are. Some people are afraid to try these because they never had them before. All right, I'm heating up the frying pan. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. And it's nice and hot already, so we're just going to toss in the mushrooms. And while we're cooking these, I'll get some beef strips ready. And when they're pretty well cooked, we're going to add the beef because that will cook very quickly. Okay. I have a nice package of beef round stir fry meat cut very small. I got it at ShopRite. It's made just for this and it's about a pound and a half. So as the mushrooms are getting a little bit more cooked, we're going to add them to the pan, all these little pieces. All right, the mushrooms are getting nice and brown. Let's throw in the stir fry beef. Get that mixed in. Good. And then we're gonna also throw in some nice fresh green beans. These are washed and trimmed. We got a little extra water out of the vegetables, also out of the mushrooms, we release quite a bit of liquid too. And the beef will start to get nice and brown. Okay, I'll just keep stirring here. I guess I should really have a wok, huh? But maybe that'll be one of our next appliances. I wanted to show you how much water comes out of these mushrooms and vegetables here. So um, this is what I was talking about. We would expect the stir fry to settle down for a little bit while the mushrooms release all their liquid and they're starting to shrink a little and the beef's getting brown and we're going to have green beans that are a little on the crispy side but they'll still be tender. So as this is cooking we're going to add a little bit of soy sauce that all cook down to um, to get rid of the liquids. Now I cook this until the liquid cooked out. You can hear we're getting back to the sizzle here. And that's just the time that I want to get it out of the pan and get it on the plate. Now you can serve this just like this, or you can serve it on top of rice or some kind of noodles if you like, but it's loaded with delicious flavors from the mushroom. I'm going to top it with a little bit of rice vinegar, just a sprinkle, and I have some sesame seeds to sprinkle on as well.
There we have a nice healthy dinner. Enjoy your oyster mushrooms. Hey, thanks for watching my videos. If you like them, please subscribe.